if I'm not mistaken, Mike, we're going to beat this through to make sure that we haven't got any track shorts, right? We're going to learn how a bit of airboard works. Because, um, right, so at the moment, you've connected with the pins this to this. Mm -hmm. So clearly that is now linked through there, yeah? Yes. But what's actually also happened now is that this entire track here will be linked with this entire track yes. here. Anywhere where I go. So we've got so, a short there. So this, this piece of copper is literally from here down to here. It's connected, mm -hmm. but to here it's not because this is broken here, you see? Okay. Mm -hmm. So that's, rather than doing that, you should have used... Each leg should have had a different hole on the same strip of copper. Mm -hmm. okay. And then that would have linked them together, rather than actually soldering them. What you've done there is, is that's what we used to do in the old days, when you, you just had a piece of FR4 with yes. no copper cladding on. Mm -hmm. It's like dead bug in it, really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, um, but um, you don't need to do that with a copper, a copper okay. board. So you might have to just rethink where all those connections are going. Mm -hmm. And like I say, you don't need to join them with lumps of solder. Okay. Yeah, I've been I'm sounding a bit depressing. It may be quicker to start again rather than yeah, try yeah. to recover what you've done there. <laughs> yeah, I think that some components are already cut. That they're, they're That's okay, because if you, if you suck them off and take them off and move them... Oh yeah, okay. you, you oh, can still resolve. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we can recover the components. I didn't mean that, <laughs> but, you, but you, may, uh, yes. you may be better off starting your design from scratch. Yeah, I think that will be easier. <coughs> It's all a learning curve. <laughs>